It's lovely to have you have yeah, you here today. Yeah, fine. So, how about the weather? I know, right? Yeah. You booked the best weather possible. And how about the countryside? And the countryside, yeah, yeah that's all, all heart natural. Of, heart of Bavaria, wonderful, isn't it? <laughs> it is wonderful. It's I absolutely think I'm wonderful. I'm going to come live here. <laughs> Why not? Why not? And, and bring a bike. Yes. Bring a bike. So, yeah, how about this bike? I know, right? So, obviously, this is a bike you recognise. I certainly do. And you have a lot of fun memories of. Uh, I, I hope. I would hope. Tell us what it was like to be on set with Steve McQueen, uh, with the rest of the cast, and, and actually seeing this bike in action right. back when it first happened in The Great Escape? Well, it, it, I could have, it, it was actually my first film, believe it or not. That's the first film I, ever, I was ever in. So I was sort of, I was sort of, I thought it was sort of quite sort of normal to have all these sort of major stars and James Garner and James Coburn and Steve McQueen and all this wonderful cast around. But, so, but um, I thought it was, oh, this is what happens, is it? Oh, nice. But um, I, had a, I had a wonderful time at make, making the film. I, I was here for six months and the cast, we all got on very well. There, was, there weren't sort of any, any, any major problems. And uh, and I think that comes across in the, in the film, perhaps certainly with me and Charlie Bronson, because me and Charles, Charlie, we we went through the film together, sort of mainly in the tunnel. Um, it was a bit dirty filming it, but um, uh, it, it was wonderful. And, and of course, these bikes, they were they were all over the. There were so many bikes on the set, and uh, in fact, it was the <coughs> I, it was the first time I ever got on a bike. And I've, I've never been on a bike since. I, I've, I, I love bikes, but I actually learned to ride a bike. I wouldn't know how to ride a bike now, but um, there were so many of them on the set that it, it seems sort of rude not to get on one and try and ride it. And, uh, so, but the, this is the most famous bike of all, absolutely. because this is the one that Steve used uh, to career around the Bavarian countryside, uh, being chased by, by the uh, Nazi regime. <laughs> and this, of course, is the bike he used to go over the jump. So, did you actually learn? Did Steve McQueen teach you? Would you say he taught you to ride? He did actually, yes, because um, I had no idea how to ride a motorbike, and uh, so I you know I got I got on one, and I I didn't even know how to start it, so let alone ride it. But um, no, I fell off a lot of times, but uh, I eventually got the hang of it. But as I say. I've never, I had never ridden a bike before, and I've never ridden a bike since. But uh, not, not. I, I mean, I, I like bikes, and I, but I, it's just never been part of my life. So um, uh, it was, uh, it was great fun, great fun. So there's, there's some rumours circulating that you, uh, that, that more than just uh, Steve uh, McQueen and, and Ekins actually had a, had a go on the bikes and on the jump. Yes. Now, did you, did you ever go on the jump? Did I? But it's kind of a trade secret. This <laughs> I know. I know. I should be letting the cat out of the bag here. But um, we won't. We won't tell it. Okay. Don't. Don't. All right. <laughs> but um, when we were here filming in 1962, which was 57 years ago, which, as I've just mentioned, it's quite amazing because I'm only 38. You look great. <laughs> I get those those numbers round the wrong way. It sort of suits me to get them round the wrong way. Oh, that's fine. You've got it's your prerogative. <laughs> but um, when we, when we were here, well, I was here. Not I wasn't in the scene, and James Coburn was here. He wasn't in the scene, and Charles Bronson was here. We we were just hanging around, sort of waiting to do our scenes that came next, because um, James Coburn had to do his scene in Fusen, uh, where we are now, basically. Um, it, it hit the cafe scene, where uh, the resistance come along and shoot the Germans. Do, do you remember the scene? I do remember uh, it well. In fact, I refreshed my memory the other day, just yeah. in, in preparation. It, it was a, it was one of my favourite scenes actually, watching that because it, it, I mean James Coburn uh, was playing a character who had just broken out of Stalag Luft Three, and a waiter comes up <laughs> and says, "Telephone, Monsieur." <laughs> He's telephone pour moi. <laughs> Uh, so it was a lovely scene, and uh, so he was waiting to do that, and I was waiting to do the scene with Charlie Bronson where we uh, got down on the rowing boat, and uh, by the river, and uh, interestingly enough, the, th the three of us were the three that got away in the of film. Of course, you did, yeah, yeah of course. Yeah. Yeah, the, the, there well, weren't I, many that got away. No, <laughs> well, in reality, I think only three got away, and in the film, three got away, which was me and 
Charlie Bronson and, and James Coburn. And of course Steve was careering around the Bavarian countryside, showing off on his bike, loving every minute of it. And of course he got caught. But um, after the filming had finished, there were, um, if you remember, there were two lines of barbed wire fences. Well, they dismantled the second fence, so which just left the first fence, which was the lower fence. And uh, so, yes, we all had a go at uh, jumping it before they dismantled it. And it was great fun, and um, Steve did it, and, uh, and uh, Jim Coburn did it, I did it, Charlie Bronson did it, we did the jump, but only over the first fence. And the, and the secret about doing the jump is the, is the landing. You have to keep the, uh, it's essential you keep the wheel, these wheels straight. If you're slightly off center, you, you've, you've had it. We should, get, we should get Guy in and give him some, give him yeah, some well, tips. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but, uh, and it was all right, I did it. I Charlie, I Charlie did it. Uh, Jim Coburn, it, Jim, Jim was a tall guy. He was about six foot two, I think six. So long, lanky legs. And he wasn't too well coordinated. So he did it. And uh, forgive my language, he fell ass over tip. <laughs> so... Uh, uh, so, uh, but anyway, he didn't hurt himself. But um, that—that's what happened at the end, and it was—it was great fun. It was great fun making the film. I mean, I remember there was an old, old Hollywood actor called Robert Mitchum, and he wrote a biography called "It Sure Beats Working," and uh, it sums up the, the being an actor and making films. It's 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 very enjoyable, and it's wonderful to see it all put together and finally seeing it in the cinema and it's, it's, it's a wonderful life I've been very fortunate very fortunate so a lot of memories obviously are coming back um, I can tell you sort of going one memory to the next it's sort right, of leading you right. on what's the the what's the sort of key thing you you remember what's the moment the iconic moment that you remember uh, from all those years ago from being on site that came back to you as you came to site well <coughs> There is, it's difficult to pick one moment because uh, there were so many moments. Uh, this is one of the moments where we are now. Um, <clears throat> not that I was in this scene, but this scene became so iconic. Um, and when people mention the Great Escape, it's all they always get round to the the jump. Um, I, I, actually, to change the subject slightly, it's quite interesting that. Um, Steve McQueen, he was, he was wasn't exactly a happy bunny because he was the only, as far as I remember, he was the only character in the film that was fictitious. Um, he played the character, of, yeah, he played the character of Hiltz. But all all the rest of us were, you know, I was a tunnel tunnel a tunnel king, and James Garner was the forger. You you did the first. You tried the first escape, didn't you? On the on set on the um, in the film, you were one of the first to try and escape, in the in the trucks with the um, oh yes, with that's the trees. Right. Yes, yeah. yes. I, I got in the truck where the where the trees were all over, and I have to tell you about that scene. The 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 guy playing the German officer, he he had a pitchfork, and he got he, and I was under the these uh, these branches. And he stuck the pitchfork, and I said, you know where, you know, I said before, you know where my head is, don't you? Keep it well away from my head. And he got very close. Well, that could have been a completely different story. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I, yeah, I said, yeah. <laughs> so, so you're, you're one of two, uh, essentially, people still left from, from, the, from the original uh, cast? Sadly, yes, there's me, as far as I know. Oh, except me. for the Germans, obviously. Yes, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't know how many of them are there, no. but, but, as, but the, the English act or English-speaking actors, um, there's me and um, and David McCullum. And uh, yes, dear David, he's still working and I understand living in New York and working. I think he's actually older than me, but not a lot of people are older than me. Oh wait, no, wait a minute, I'm, I'm 38. 38 was it? 38. That's it. Yeah. So you're on set with. Some huge names. You mentioned yeah. earlier some huge yes. stars. Yes. What was it like for you, especially as a as a first timer, a yes. new actor? What was that it like was for you? It was the first time on on. Well, I have to be honest. It, you have to remember that we are going back 57 years. It was 1962, and the the, the huge stars that well they they became huge stars. At the, and 1962, 
Richard Attenborough was very well known, in, in, certainly in, in, in England. And James Garner was a huge star because he'd done a very successful television series that went all was worldwide called Maverick, which was about a, it was a western and about a, 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 a gambler. So he was hugely well known, and I loved watching Get um, a, a, a Maverick as, as a teenager. I always used to watch Maverick. And that was very impressive. Wow, I'm going to make a film with James Garner. Wow. And that was terrific. I have to be honest with you, Steve McQueen, I didn't really know a lot about him. I knew he'd been in The Magnificent Seven, which I had seen. I understand he'd made a very well-known television series in America called Wanted Dead, Dead or Alive, but that had not been shown, I don't think. Well, I'd never seen it in, in, in England. So Steve was sort of pretty well unknown to me. James Garner was hugely well known. Richard Attenborough was hugely well known. And I guess that was a, about it, really. So they all became, and James Coburn, they all became huge stars. But when we made The Great Escape, they weren't as huge as they became. So it wasn't quite as daunting as you think it might have been. But, uh, but James Garner was... Uh, I actually went to James Garner's house uh, he invited me to his house and we actually played cards. We, we, I think we were playing poker. I just couldn't get over it. There I am playing, playing poker with Maverick. <laughs> it's amazing meeting one of your heroes, I <laughs> yes, guess, one of the, yes. the people you looked up to. Yeah. Uh, and lastly, coming back to site, obviously to back to the location that you, that you were 50, 50 or 60, almost 60 years ago now. Uh, what kind of feelings does that, that create in you? Well, it, it's actually very emotional. Um, I've, I've I mean, I remember being, it's, it's sort of like yesterday I was here, but it's not, of course. And I've also been uh, <coughs> down to the site. I went down to the site uh, well, yesterday where Charlie and I, <coughs> Charlie Bronson and I got on the rowing boat. <coughs> and I have to admit, I have to hold my, it brought a tear to my eye because the sad thing is that they're now all gone. And so it, it's actually quite emotional being here. However, it, I mean, it, it's lovely, it's wonderful to be able to have the opportunity to, to see it all again. But, uh, and I, I'm enjoying every minute of it, but it, it doesn't alter the fact that it is a, very emotional as well. So, uh, but I haven't cried, have I? I haven't shed a tear with well, you. You wouldn't be the first. We've had, <laughs> yeah, a couple of people already no. showed a bit of emotion. Yeah. So yeah, it's an absolute pleasure. No, Thank you. My pleasure. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey you guys! Hey you guys, huh? Hey you guys, Is that yeah. from the Goonies? Nice. Hey you guys!